tutorial we are going to be learning how to make use of our keyboard the keyboard is a point of interface with your computer to actually input data to your computer so therefore a keyboard is an input device now this is a typical illustration of a keyboard a keyboard has these different areas mainly of six types six different areas now you can see that if you have seen a keyboard before you will discover that at this right hand side for a standard keyboard you are having this right hand side to to contain only numbers now for the modern day laptops or the portable pcs this may not actually be available but in mine i'm actually having it now in this particular place we, this part we call it the keypad now this keypad are are specialized for numbers that is why they call it the numeric keypads only for entry numbers and this is this is the main one that the bankers really make use of in the bank just for entry your account number automatically they just they just start entry numbers and all that so you see this particular keys always wear off for the one used in the bank now we have this one reddish part to be the control keys the control keys let me show you the control keys right now now these are the control keys i just told you about let's see them now see them with you can see them now these are the control keys which are this one two three you see them again four one two three okay the fourth one is not actually here now now what i want you to see here is that these control keys they are used for a very good purpose they are used as a key as a key combination they are used mainly for some specific kind of operation now example is control when i press my control key you can see that actually you ought to only press one it is meant to be combined with another key to perform a particular operation now what i want to do here if i say control maybe s normally is supposed to be for save also we have some kind of key combination like the alternate key alternate key is also used for an alternative definitely when you press it you are going to see it actually change actually do a particular function like close a particular window or show a menu now let me activate this particular window let me press the alternate key and let's see what you are going to be having okay as me that does not show let me open another window for you to see when i press the alternate key maybe alternate uh, f4 i'm going to tell you more about that one f4 automatically it closes that so you use it for a combination now you combine with a key for them to actually function now they are called what the control keys this red aspect called the control keys they are made to do some specific type of controls now let me show you the escape key the escape key can actually be used to cancel or to say i don't want to do that again i don't accept that do you agree instead of no just press escape automatically it escapes that particular field so that is what we use the escape for now if you check it very well you discover another key this particular key fn you are making use of your portable mobile computer you discover that this fn key is a special key if you check it very well this fn key can be used to toggle between what actually these keys perform now in the modern pcs actually this one is kind of designed in a way that you would actually have every key here so in order to avoid closing the whole of your screen they had to customize it in a way that you can switch now normally 
in the modern PCs this day, maybe you can combine this with F2, F3, like my own PC that I'm actually making use of. If I press F6, I mute the PC, the system volume, or when I press Fn and F7, automatically I open my email, my email messenger, or if I press Fn and the escape key automatically my PC will sleep. So you can also you can use it to actually activate some kind of keys. Some computers will have their own to be totally different. I'm coming. Let me kind of show you one that I actually made. Now this is that of my computer. You discover that you are having the Fn key plus escape key to sleep and if you press the Fn key plus any other key here, you actually check your battery starter. Example is what I want to do now. Let me do it for you to see. You can see now. You see what you see there. Also, there are other things maybe for inserting the pound sign and others. So, they have different, different functions. You can see this one is for my wireless and this one is for your key lock and others. While this one is for my touchpad lock. So, they have different function that is why you are always advised to actually read your manual your user guide for your pc in order to learn better also let me teach you that is about keyboard maybe if you are using your desktop pc now another thing i have to teach you is what the function the function keys can also do the function keys may be used for the ms DOS area to perform a very powerful functions like like saying press f8 to agree or so they are they are actually used based on directive also so they are very very powerful and they may be used on some on some uh, programs like microsoft uh, microsoft word maybe on core draw core draw can maybe press f11 as another function for your lines and others so they they are, they are used sometimes as shortcuts and others now i want to tell you more about the navigation keys the navigation keys are the arrow keys you are seeing here now when you anytime you press them they are meant to navigate maybe you have a whole list of different objects maybe you have a list of different objects let me go and open a particular place where you it's going to be very very useful to you Assuming I'm having a list of objects here. Wow. Now look at this. You see how plenty they are. Now, for you to be able to view as many as possible, I want to open some things for you to see. Maybe we are having many files. There are not many enough for, to illustrate what I want. Uh -huh. So you see this now. Normally, if I click on this one, I can just use this one. You can see to actually go down. You can see and see. So the on-screen keyboard is what I'm actually using right now. I can actually use it when I don't have a keyboard. So you can see it now. So that is what this particular key is actually used for. You can see cursor key. Also, you you can use it on some application like your Microsoft word and others maybe on your word pad maybe when you write anything at all you can make use of it to actually toggle now i want to show you other things Now I can combine these keys now. You see. Now you can see. I want to use this. I just toggle. You can see it moving, 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 moving. Up, down, up. So there are many things you can use it for. So that is for your cursor key. Now also we have other keys here too. So which actually you may not be able to see here, but for the other format standard keys, 
We are having them to be your print screen, your insert, or your post. So that's what they are using them for. So look at this other keys that I have in here indicator lights. Okay, the most powerful of all that we have to learn now is the typing keys, also known as the alpha numeric keys. The alpha numeric keys are used firstly for typing, then for any other function. Some of them contains your symbols and others. So the symbolic keys are this one you are seeing here. And for your comma, for your you can see them for your semicolon, for your for your pi. Look at the, your pipe for your you can see this now. You can see your your square brackets, you can see them here, your equals sign, your brackets. A circular bracket, your dash, your, which is also your negative, your underscore is there. So you can see the percentage and all that. Why this one is your Windows option? Yeah, you can see it there. So tab, tab keys are different from these. Those ones are different, but also you can make use of them mainly. You can make use of them. You can make use of this. Enter. For accept, maybe for OK, D for delete, shift, you can see them here. So these keys are very, very, very important for typing. But one thing I want to teach you about using them for typing is this. Now, you can see that everything, everything here, they are all in what? In small cap. You can see them. What I mean by small cap is in, in little, we call them cap means capital. And... Anytime you press caps, meaning that everything should be in capital letter. So if I activate cap, that means everything is now in capital letter. So I can write A, let's see, A, B, S, D, F. You can see. You can see. But when I activate it to be small, W, you can see that now. You can see. So that is how it is. This, this is called the space bar. When you press this, a space is automatically given. If you press the gate space automatically given. when you press enter while typing it goes automatically to another paragraph. Why backspace is meant to delete to the back, while delete is meant to delete to the front. Let's check it out. Now I can use this my arrow. Also, I can use my control key. Dash, you can see it now. Now, while doing that, I can delete to the when I say delete everything. At the right are going to be deleted based on on see when you actually stop so delete you can see it now also it can be used to delete on your windows explorer too just to delete an object also you can click on backspace to actually delete backward so let's see delete g delete e delete you can see it now so that is how actually it works now we are other ways other ways of writing in capital letter is by pressing shift when you know that only what you want to press maybe the person's name you know the first thing you have to write the first word is going to be in cap maybe you want to write mr john you are supposed to write capital letter m you see these are your suggestion that the keyboard is give you capital letter m then you click write mr you see mr and dot and John it's supposed to be in capital, right? So you press your shift, John. You see, I'm sorry for that. That is zero. John, this is O. John, you see now. So that is how you make use of your keyboard. It's very, very simple. So let's see other things we can actually use our keyboard for which one have I not talked about talk about the code talk about the navigation so we talk about everything so for some modern computers you are having the indicator lights some computers have it indicated that you press your caps lock and all that so this may not actually be very very necessary because you may not actually find it in your PC but you be you just have to be very very watchful in that sometimes you can press your caps lock and you discover that it will on that cap key i told you about which is this one some computers may call it cap lock some may call it just caps 
you see some we just give a symbol there with a in capital letter without even writing this so you just have to know where your cap lock is but it's always at the left hand side so the keyboard you are seeing here may be different from that on your own but the keys are inside they are still the same thing so that's what you have to know so that is all you have to know about keyboard but if you want to know more like your page or page down you actually have to learn more about them because as you advance in the use of keyboard or the use of computing maybe in typing and others you actually know how to make use of your keyboard it's very very important because you are going to be making use of them assuming you are typing now you can't type without making use of maybe your insert button insert key page or page down your scroll lock your help menu and others insert end and print screen so there are many ways you are going to be making use of them that is why i'm not going to go into details so make sure that you enroll in other class maybe by buying our tu tutorial and others just make sure you are always in contact with us that is all about keyboard thank you very much